Hey guys, I'm Robert Farrell. As you're probably aware of, there's a lot of crap and BS on both Facebook, social media, and YouTube. You know, ways to get rich tomorrow and all this stuff. Let me share with you a very valuable piece of information. I've been doing online training, marketing, sales since 1995 in the trenches. Making mistakes, losing money, spending money. So one thing that I want to share with you is a practical approach to how to make money with Amazon, more specifically affiliate marketing. Now, for those of you that have wasted your time in webinars and seminars and watched all these YouTube videos and how people flash their cash in front of a Lamborghini, in front of a mansion, all that stuff, spend the next 20 minutes plus with me and I will share with you an opportunity, I'm not here to sell you anything. I just want to engage you to how to work smart online with affiliate marketing in this particular case, Amazon. So I have thousands of successful students that have been earning online for years. Now, to be very candid with you, I just noticed this a couple weeks ago with, with this whole COVID buildup. I keep in track with most of my students. I have curated over 57,000 students since 1995, 25 years. Now, in the past four or five years, I keep in touch with most of my students who I taught how to do this. And again, my training is free, so I don't even think you're going to pay anything for my training because it's 100% free, no strings attached. So listen to this for a second. So I discovered that I have 137 students who signed up for my turnkey system, watched my training videos, and made no money, nothing, not a penny, not a dime, crickets. Now, strangely enough, they weren't upset. And the reason they didn't make any money because they just gave up. They were foolish enough to think that if they don't make like $5,000 in the next three to four weeks, you know, nobody's going to do that. That's absolute nonsense bullshit. I've been doing this for 25 years and I make no guarantees. I couldn't promise my own daughter money next week unless I paid her out of my own pocket. But nothing happens if you choose to do nothing. So watch this. This is one of my turnkey websites. I own hundreds of websites. But in order to be successful at this, you have to have a niche. You have to have a website. If you're going to curate Amazon content, don't have one Amazon affiliate site that sells breakfast cereals and iPhones and baby clothes and trips to Jamaica. That's too confusing for people. Pick a niche. So what I've done about five, six years ago Zion, you're going to call me, you're going to think I'm absolutely insane here. But I own about 14,000 different domain names. And I have different niches for different domain names. Now, of course, I'm not using all those domain names at one time. My students and my clients are. But I have a complete turnkey system that will give you a better opportunity to earn because you'll be working smart. So here's an example. So here's one of my websites. This is Robert's Coffee, Tea, Snacks website. Now, you'll notice that it's not salesy, it's filled with information. Well, geez, Robert, how do I make money with that? These are basically curated YouTube videos. So in the back of my WordPress site, this is a turnkey WordPress site with all the premium plugins you'll need. Yoast SEO Premium, Thrive Architect Premium. These are themes and plugins that you'd pay hundreds of dollars for, all inclusive in one price. So. If you go through the site, so let's say as an example that I want to get traffic to my website. Now, here's the biggest mistake that people make. About four summers ago, I gave a marketing seminar in Phuket, Thailand, in front of about 2,800 marketers from around the world. The first thing I did when I took the stage was I said, stop selling. Yes, people don't want to be sold. They want to be engaged. So why not ride the coattails of the number two search engine? You know what that is? Number two search engine, you're watching it right now, is YouTube. Okay? So work smart with this. So you curate those different videos from YouTube. You didn't create the videos. Somebody else did. You're bringing them into your site, and then you're posting them on your social media. Now, here's another technique. Do not post these videos on your typical profile Facebook page. Create a separate page for your separate websites. So this is a Coffee, Tea, Snacks website. So therefore, I have a Coffee, Tea, Snacks Facebook page. If I had a gluten-free website, I would have a gluten-free website, gluten-free gluten-free Facebook page. 
If I had a how to basically fix your kitchen, I would have a how to fix your kitchen Facebook page. You get the drift? It makes sense. So if you look at this for a second, let's say that I wanted to share, draw traffic to my website. So keto is really big these days. So I want to share this keto recipe on my Facebook page. Now pay attention. When somebody clicks this from your Facebook page to go to watch that video, it's not going to take them to YouTube. It's going to take them to your branded website. So I would basically put this on your own page. Now I would also do some kind of engaging question. So I would type into my post, hey, have you tried this cheesecake, this keto friendly cheesecake? Do you have a keto friendly cheesecake of your own? That basically engages people and that's what social media marketing is about. Engagement, asking questions, getting comments, engaging people to come to your site. So how does that benefit you? Well, now when they come to your site, off to the side, you can have the ingredients that were inside the recipe. Now you might think to yourself, well, geez, Roberts, you know, that's not a lot of money. They buy cakes and cookies. I want to sell iPhones. I want to sell Peloton life cycles. Well, all that is possible, create a niche and have a turnkey solution for that. But here's what you're not thinking about. And here's why most people fail at this. They want to sell uh, the Peloton life cycle. They want to sell the NordaTrack, you know, thousands of dollars worth of equipment. The mistake that these knuckleheads make, and I say that respectfully, is they go and they post that on their social media. Well, nobody's going to buy that. What you need to do is engage them with a workout video on the Norda Track, or how about a video that compares the Norda Track to the Peloton cycle? Where do you get it? YouTube. It's out there. Here's another example. Let's say that you wanted to sell coffee makers. Very popular thing worldwide. People are getting married, people starting out their new apartment, they need a new coffee maker. Now, are you gonna post a coffee maker 20% off today? Or are you gonna do the 10 best coffee maker reviews? Again, you get that from YouTube. It's working smart. But here's something I wanna share with you that you'll not see in anybody else's website. And before I share this with you, let me ask you a simple question. I don't care, I don't know where you shop. Do you shop at Macy's? Do you shop at Williams Sonoma? Dick's Sporting Goods. So let's say that you're an avid fisherman or hunter and you shop at Dick's Sporting Goods. What if you went to Dick's Sporting Goods and there was a banner ad that said, hey, how would you like to get a website like this and earn? I'm sure most of us would click that. Well, I took a page from that concept many years ago. So if you put a banner ad on your website and let's understand the possibilities here, again, you're not selling somebody my website, you're engaging them with the possibilities. So let me share this with you. My statistics over the past four to five years have told me that for every 20 people that come to your website, they will click on this banner ad. Three, three out of 20 people will click on this banner ad. I know it's a wacky statistic, I didn't make it up, that's just how it's working on my student and my website. So for every 20 people that come to your website, three people are going to click on that banner ad. So therefore you're upping the opportunity for them to basically get their own website. Now, you're probably familiar with the term FOMA, fear of missing out. So let me explain something to you. Let's say as an example that you told your friends, family, coworkers, people in social media, hey, I got this great coffee, tea, snacks website. I got this great kitchen gadgets website. I got this great computer stuff, whatever. Whatever your niche is, I, I highly suggest you do that. So you're gonna get three responses. You're gonna get, hey man, Robert, I love you, but you know, I buy my coffee from Amazon or William Sonoma. Great, still, you're still on my Christmas card list. The second scenario, yeah, Robert, I'll check out your coffee, tea, snacks website. What, you make a commission? Hey, good for you, good side hustle. But here's the very best response. Geez, Robert, how did you get your website? Boom. And that gets into my next step. So watch this. So during the COVID-19 pandemic, like most other businesses, I have a special offer right now. Now I typically charge $279 per year for my turnkey website. So I have bundle prices as well, but just bear with me for a second. Here's the opportunity I want to share with you. You can get into my packages, my websites for considerably less. I'm not going to talk about that price right now. I want to talk about the opportunity that if somebody clicks on your website, hey, launch a website like this, 
whatever your niche is, this is where you can make some serious money. Now, it's disingenuous to think that you're going to launch an Amazon account and make $2,000 over the next month. That's not going to happen because they don't pay as much. Amazon pays between 4 and 10%, mainly the 4, 5, 6%. So do the math on that. You're not going to be making thousands, although it's possible that you can make thousands. I have students that make thousands of dollars a month on Amazon alone. But, but pay attention here. So my site right now, I have a special deal for $179 for a site. Now again, get that number out of your head because that's not what you're going to pay. You're going to pay considerably less if in fact you're serious about doing this. Now, what do I mean by serious? You have to treat this like a serious business. If you're the person who's going to try for a couple weeks, then you know what? Stop the video right now. Go back to what you're doing. Do you know that only 4% of the people that even do any kind of online sales marketing fail? Do you know why? They didn't have the right tools. They didn't have the right training approach. Again, my training is free. Or they just gave up. You wouldn't open an ice cream store in Main Street and try for like a couple of three weeks, would you? No, nor could you because you probably got a five-year lease. So here's the opportunity, and this is going to blow your mind. So let's say as an example that you were to stumble in, again, you want to draw traffic to your site. What's the smartest way to draw traffic to your site? Consumable products. In today's world with COVID, toilet paper, hand sanitizer, coffee, tea, snacks, beverages. So that's going to drive people to your site more than iPhone and Peloton and high ticket items. Let's work smart. Now, once you're on the Amazon site from your website, you're going to get paid for anything that they buy. So you don't have to fill up your website with a bunch of stuff. In fact, Amazon, I have back end software that will tell you the best selling products on Amazon to bring into your website. Why? For selfish reasons. Amazon doesn't want you selling their crap. Neither is any other online company. Saks, Fifth Avenue, Walmart, Macy's, Best Buy, et cetera, et cetera. So let's get back into this. So let's say that you stumbled into three, sold three of my websites a month, not three a day, not three a week, three a month, which is totally doable. Because keep in mind, you're getting scores of people come to your website every day to buy low ticket items, low hanging fruit, toilet paper, coffee, tea, snacks, et cetera, et cetera. So that's 179 Actually, let's get rid of the numbers for a second. So that's three people a month that buy my website from your efforts on your website. So the last time I checked, there's 12 months in a year. So that's times 12. That's 36 people. 36 people at the end of the year. Now, let's be candid and real here. I'm not here to give you snake oil nonsense. Maybe this takes you a month to do. Maybe it takes you a couple months to work up to three people a month. Maybe it takes you six months. I don't know. Time is money. Okay, so if you keep at it, keep at it, keep at it, if you put in a good four to six hours a week, that's all that's required here. My software does the rest. Well, that's 36 people a year. 36 people a year that have paid me 179, and I'm gonna pay you a minimum of 20%. Now, the reason I'm saying minimum, because if I see you're hustling, and I see you're sending me five, six, seven, eight, ten, and I do have students that send me 10, 15, 20 referrals for paid websites a month, do the math. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot of money, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay? But here's what my software will do for you. My software enables you to make a commission off the people that you sold to. Let me repeat that. So if somebody comes to your Joe's Coffee Tea Snacks website and they buy one of my websites, okay, great. Now, the person that bought that website also has the same opportunity as you to have my website and put a banner out there. When they sell somebody, you're still going to get paid. Now, this is not a Mary Kay Cosmetics Amway crap nonsense. This is not a thousand people down multi-levels. I get two levels down. And it's very practical and it's easy to keep track of. And there's a lot of money in this. So watch this. The numbers change a lot. So if you take those same three people a month, which is 36 people a year, and again, you can incentivize and keep touch with you, the people that you sold to. Because you're going to know who bought from my website with your efforts because there's a back-end admin section, affiliate admin section that you can track. You can keep in touch with them. I provide training videos 
I provide everything you need to succeed. For selfish reasons, if you're successful at making money, I'm successful at making money. If your people who bought a website because of your efforts are successful, you're making money, you're successful. So let's get back to this again. So that's 36 people times 36. Because again, those three people also are selling three people a month. Okay, and again, it could take you, maybe it takes you a year and a half to work up to this. Maybe it takes you three months. I have students that have done this in two months. Okay, so that's times 179. Okay, yes, you got that right. Oh, Alec Baldwin from Glengarry Glen Ross. Oh, I'm sorry, do I, do I have your attention now? Yeah, this is Syria. So let's run those numbers again in case you weren't paying attention. So if you sold three people a month, three times 12 is 36. Now, if those same people sold three a month with your help, my help, our incentive programs, times 36, that's 1,296. 1,296 times $179 is $231,000 a year. Now, again, that's gross sales, and I'm gonna pay you a minimum of 20%. Okay, so that's $46,000. Okay, now can you use $46,000? And that, by the way, is divided by 12. That is $3,800 a month. Now, if you think what I'm saying is absolute bullshit, snake oil, carnival crap, then you know what I want you to do? First of all, don't listen to my videos. Go to my YouTube channel on the bottom of this video and say, I watched Robert's video and he's full of shit. He's full of crap. Or if you're watching this inside my Facebook chatbot, do the same thing. Go back to my Facebook page and say, watch this video as this guy's an idiot. Okay? If you think that's true, if you think you can't make money with this, tell that to Jeff Bezos, the richest man in the world who happens to own Amazon. Do you know that 27, 28 years ago, Jeff Bezos was laughed at by his friends and family because he just got he had a great college degree from a top university? They laughed at him because he was selling books out of his parents' garage. Well, look at him now. The other thing that you're probably not considering is the reason Amazon got to be as big as it did was from affiliate marketing, from referrals. Now again, for those of you that are new to this whole concept of affiliate marketing, think it's some kind of pyramid scheme or scheme or scam or whatever. When I get paid and my students get paid at the end of the month from Macy's Saks Fifth Avenue, Amazon, William Sonoma, whoever we're an affiliate for, what does it say in our direct deposit? It says advertising, advertising referral fee. That's all you're doing. You're referring content. You're referring products. So now, in addition to what I just explained to you, this is something you're going to completely lose your head over. You're going to go insane. Keep the calculator up here for a second. Now, I have, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I have hundreds of websites that I own personally. My average student probably has between 15 and 20 different niche sites. Oh, I get it, Robert. You just want to sell your websites. Says, I get it now. Okay, I'm done with you. No. Let's understand something. Can you make money off one website? Yeah, possibly. I, I know people that do. But let's up our game. Why not hedge your bet? Five is better than one, 10 is better than five. Now we're not talking a lot of money here. So if you can have 10 niche marketed with domain names, with hosting, with everything you need to earn, now it gets much more exciting. Okay, so let's look at the trusted calculator again. So my 10 site bundle goes for $299 every three months times four. So a person would pay me $1,196. Now I have special incentives, so put that price off to the side. If a person signs up for the whole year, they save themselves 300 bucks. But let's understand the possibilities, and this is really serious. This is serious number, serious money. So again, if you were to use that same three person a month, now. Keep in mind, your opportunity is greatly increased because you now have 10 niche marketing websites. So maybe one website doesn't do as well as the others. 
So that's why you want to hedge your bet with different niches. I've been doing this for 25 years. I couldn't tell you what works better than the other. It's called A-B testing, trial and error. Okay, so watch this. If you take my, let's say between all your 10 sites, and, and this is, you know, this is really not unreasonable at all because I have plenty of students that are doing it. So if you were to sell 10 of my pack, I'm sorry, five of my packages, that's five times 12, which is 60, five times 12, which is 60. 60 people a year. 60 people a year that are paying $299 four times a year. Okay, I screwed that up, didn't I? So 60 people times 299 times four. Okay, that's $71,000. Okay times 20%. Okay? I don't know what just happened there. Hang on. I, for some times I can't chew gum and walk at the same time. Times 20%. Okay, it's $14,000. Not bad for a year's worth of work that you really didn't dig ditches for. But again, here's where it gets really exciting. If you take those same 60 people that you have access to who also have the opportunity to sell, now again, let's be conservative, let's be practical. They also bought 10 websites from me, okay? So they have the same opportunity that you will have. Now let's say they're not as uh, aggressive. Let's say they only sell back to that three a month, which is 36 a year, okay? Again, I, I don't wanna blow smoke up your butt. I don't wanna throw these, you know, make a million dollars next week in your sleep. That's all nonsense. I want to have serious, practical conversation. So that's 60 times 36, okay? That's now 2,160 people. 2,160 people that you can earn from because they bought a site from you and then the person that you sold the site to bought a site. So that's times 299 times four. Yes, yes, yes. That's $2.5 million. That's $2.5 million. That's 2.5 million flipping dollars. And it's all about numbers. Now, obviously that's gross sales. So if you take that at 20%, and again, if I see you're out there hustling, I'll pay you 25%, I'll pay you 30%. Because the more money you're making for me, the, the more I'm gonna incentivize you. It's just smart business. So times, 20%. I'm sorry. Do I have your attention again? That's $516,000. Now again, let's not, let's be reasonable here. Maybe it takes you three months, six months, a year. Hey, maybe it takes you the next two years of your life to work up to this. Are you making $516,000 now? I don't think so. And if you are, you're, why are you listening to this video? No, actually, I take that back because I have plenty of people that are successful and then they use my techniques to take it to the next level. Okay, now, you like to dream a little, let's dream a little. So let's say that those 60 people a month, three to five people a month, times 12, 60. So let's up that a little bit. So let's say that you sold, again, you have 10 websites. So if each website was responsible for converting one website of mine, that's 10 a month. 10 times 12 is 120. Now, the people that you sold to, again, let's not go nuts. Let's say that they only sold five a month with their 10 websites. So that's times 60. That's now 7,200 people that you are responsible for directly or indirectly from the people you sold to. You see, it's just numbers. It's the power of 10. 10 times 10 times 10, which is a thousand, by the way, of course. So, if I take that number times 299 times four, yeah, that's a boatload worth of numbers. That's $8.6 million. Oh, Robert, now you're talking kooky. No way I'm gonna make 8.6. Well, first of all, that's gross numbers. So if you were to times 20%, in fact, let me tell you, if you're doing that much business, I'm gonna definitely pay you a lot more. 
Okay, that is, how much is that? That is $1.7 million in your pocket. Are you okay to make $1.7 million again? I don't want to fill your head with snake oil bullshit that you see all day on YouTube and Facebook. I want you to walk before you can run. But conservatively, if you were to just get one of my websites and you can make an extra 100 bucks a month, it's more money than probably you're making right now. You got to walk before you can run. I have a student of mine that's been with me since she was 99 years old. She does the same thing. You know how much she made in her first month? Now, keep in mind, she couldn't type. She knew nothing. All she did was watch my YouTube videos. And this was six years ago when she was 99. She made $35. Oh, $35. Hey, to be realistic, I'm sure you, I know I would probably quit after spending a month on something and only made 35 bucks. But she was such an optimist. She would email me, Robert, I made 28 cents today. Robert, I made $1.35. Robert, I made 16 cents. Now it took her a number of months, a number of months to work up to this, but she makes $2,000 a month. And that's about where she is now, six years later, because she works four or five hours, six hours a week. She's happy with that. She's tickled pink with that. Now, over the holiday season, this past year, 2019, she averaged about $4,700 November, December per month. So if she can do this, you can do this. But here's what you want to do. Don't outsmart yourself and say, yeah, 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 Robert, what, what does he know? Well, if you think what I'm saying is, you're, is full of shit, then stop the video right now and let me know that works out for you. If you want a real practical turnkey solution that has everything that I've researched this for years. I get the best plugins, premium plugins, the best software to use. Everything is included. Hosting, domain names. The only thing you need to do is put in some effort. Four to six hours a week. 45 minutes on a Monday. Half hour on a Wednesday. Maybe an hour on a Friday and a couple hours over the weekend. That's all it is. Okay, but you have to have consistency. The idea here is that you're letting your social media drive traffic by posting videos from YouTube. It's a great system. Now, if you want to up your game, then I will share with you how to basically spend $5 a day on a Facebook ad and get tons of traffic. Now, there's probably other videos. I have training videos about how to do that too. Now, if you're considering spending five bucks a day, then do yourself a favor for Facebook ads or even YouTube ads. Uh, I have a great software program called TubeSift. Uh, uh, my friend Justin makes the program, and I use that. I squeeze a sponge. I make thousands a day off that program, and I spend $20 a day on YouTube ads. Now, if you stay disciplined with that $5 ad with Facebook and YouTube, let me share with you what's going to happen. Again, you got to stay in your lane. I would stay in your lane for at least two to three months. You're going to get all kinds of incentives. Hey, turn $5, spend $10. Don't do it because here's what will happen. If you're a person that's already spending five, six, eight, a thousand dollars a day on Facebook ads or YouTube ads, both those companies go, we got this guy. He's spending a thousand, we got this girl, this guy. He's spending eight, nine hundred dollars a day. He's, he's, he's ours, we own him. No, not to say that if you're spending a thousand dollars a day, hopefully you're, you're 10Xing that. You're making 10,000 a day. Okay? But if you stay in your lane for that five dollars a day, week after week, month after month, Facebook is going to go, hey, we need to up this guy's game. We need to basically get him more business, make more money for this person for that same five bucks. So they want to basically jump through hoops to prove to you that spending more money is a good idea. But don't do it. Now, eventually, when you do start making on your five dollar ad, five, six, seven, ten X. Well, yeah, then up it. But don't go nuts. Maybe you go to ten dollars a day and then maybe at the end of six months, you're up to fifteen dollars a day. But baby step it and you'll be rewarded by these companies because they they want to hook you in for the big bucks. But don't fall into it. So thanks again for being here. My name is Robert Farrell. I have a sincere interest in helping you every step of the way. Click the link below. You'll go to more in-depth videos of how this is done. 
and you'll engage in my chatbot. Oh, geez, that's it. He wants to get us into a chatbot, into a sales funnel. No, no, I don't do sales funnels. I don't do webinars. I don't want your email address. I'm good old fashioned. This is how it's done and this is how it works. Now, the advantage of being in my chatbot, I do that for two reasons. A, it shows me how serious you are and how proactive you are. If you're a person who watches this and watches that, then eh, maybe you're not serious. Maybe this is not right for you. Sorry about that, I had a cough. In fact, let me, try, let me grab a drink of water. Sorry about that. So if you're in my chatbot, and I also have videos for that, chatbot marketing is where it's at. I stopped doing email crap probably about five and a half, six years ago. Chatbot marketing is where it's at. A, if you do it through Facebook, Facebook does not allow you to spam people, and that's good for me, I'm an honest guy. So save the, the email marketing for the hacks, the clowns, the spammers, the nonsense, the earn $2,000 tomorrow, send me 20 bucks. It's, it's, it's amazing what people fall for. So once you're inside my chatbot, you engage with me. First of all, the first thing you'll see in my chatbot is, hey, how are you? Joe, Bill, Pete, Sue, Martha. Do you want to basically subscribe to my future chatbot? Totally up to you. Whether you do or don't, that's fine. You could opt in, opt out at any time. But it doesn't matter even if you opt in or opt out, I cannot contact you after 24 hours. That's a new Facebook rule, which I absolutely love. Some of my fellow marketers are like, oh, they really suck. No, if you have a good enough product, they're gonna engage back with you. Now, once you engage back with me, then I have another 24 hours to earn your business again. But it's a great way to do business because if you're not getting back with me within 24 hours, then I haven't done my job. And I have no right to keep spamming you and big, oh, please, please take my, pro hey, if I don't do a good enough job in presenting my information to you and educating to what I'm about, then I have failed. And I don't deserve your trust and I don't deserve your business. So think about that. Chatbot marketing to me is where it's at. I love the fact that Facebook has a 24 hour window. Because if you can't get somebody to engage with you after 24 hours, then it's lost anyway. What do you want when you want to piss them off with more spam, more nonsense? No. So I'm here to help you every step of the way. But nothing will happen if you choose to do nothing. So stay home, stay positive, engage with my chatbot. I'm here to help you every step of the way. Carpe Diem 2020, my name is Robert Farrell coming to you from New York City across from Central Park. Have a good day.